5 hulipi hata ndururu we unajidai tu pale na unatoa jina lako na unazungumza nasi kutoka wapi kwanza tuanze na taarifa hii ya FKF taarifa jana kwamba Francis Kimanzi ndiye huyo tena kashapigwa kalamu leo tunatangaziwa kwamba uh, Jacob Ghost Mulei amepewa wadhifa huo na mimi hivi sasa naungana naye moja kwa moja Moses Wahisi mwanahabari mwenzangu ambaye amekita kambi kule Safari Park aki uh, ama akihudhuria hafla hii na atatuambia yale yaliyokuwemo kule na je amepata kauli ile ya Jacob Ghost Mulei Moses Wahisi nipe habari umefikia wapi kutoka huko Safari Park na bahaji wanasema kwamba ngombe atoe maziwa ndiyo kipenzi cha mfugaji na pengine hapa tutasema kuwa Nick Mwendo ni mfugaji na anataraji kuwa atapata kupata maziwa tena kwa wingi kutoka kwa mkufunzi mpya ambaye amepata kumtaja siku ya leo naye ni Ghost Mule. Kumbuka Ghost Mule ana uzoefu kwa sababu amepata kuiongoza kikosi cha Harambe Stars miaka iliyopita lakini watu wengi sana na wadadisi wa soka wanasema kuwa wakati wake ulipita wengine wanasema kuwa huu ni wakati wake ambapo tena atapata kungaa swali ni je itakuwa ni mbivu ama mbichi tunangoja tusubiri tuone kuwa kibarua yake ya kwanza matokeo atakuwa ni vipi pale ambapo Kenya itakuwa na garagaza ikibandikana dhidi ya Comoros lakini mkufunzi mkuu Ghost Mule ana imani kuwa ni wakati ambapo amepata fursa nyingine tena na ana imani na matumaini kuwa ari ya kikosi cha Harambe Stars kitapata kungaa hata zaidi chini ya ukufunzi wake once you are a driver you are a driver uh, there is the time maybe we used to drive uh, manual cars today we are driving automatic all right and uh, i think i've been in the game throughout since uh, the time i coached arambistas the last time uh, i've been abreast with the normal happenings or current happening of football so i have no doubt in my mind and uh, kenyans will judge me from the 11th when we play comoros i cannot promise anything uh, this job of a coach is not a job to talk it's a job about the action. After 90 minutes, then you have a reason to judge my performance. But for now, I cannot promise anything. We'll wait for the Comoros game and the subsequent games. I always say a coaching job is the most temporary job in the world. You could be there one game, you're fired. And it's based on performance. So we wait for the games that are coming. And then from there, you'll be able to judge. Well, <laughs> if the president, the federation sat, they have football brains and they approach me and I looked at the environment uh, that I'm working in and uh, I thought, yeah, this is a good environment to work. So it gives me the confidence that, uh, and looking at the team, the last time that uh, we played uh, Zambia, Egypt, and uh, the game that we played Togo here, I was in all these games. So looking from it, I have the confidence that uh, things will be better. Bahaji kumbuka kwamba mwindaji hawezi kupumzika kabla ya kupika. Ingali kikosi kinazidi kuandaliwa na wengi wanasema kuwa Ghost Mule atapata kuongoza kikosi hiki na pengine timu ya Kenya itapata kujikatia tikiti na kushiriki katika ubingwa wa Afrika. Lakini swali ni je, Nick Mwendo alitoa uamuzi huu baada ya nini? Ni uamuzi ambao kumbuka Nick Mwendo anasema kuwa anapata kuushikilia na ana imani kuwa Ghost Mule ndiye nahodha na ndiye mkufunzi ambaye anastahili kuongoza kikosi cha Harambe Stars. Kwa mambo ya coach nilionaye leo ambaye ndiye atatuelekeza kwenye World Cup na kwenye Cup of Nations. Tulikuwa tunatafuta coach mkenya anao ujuzi wa kushinda qualification ya kuenda mali tunataka. We are looking for a champion coach mkenya na wakati tulipoangalia tukapata sio wengi ni yeye tu ndio aliyofunga kebvad pale tukakwenda cup of nations pia ni instructor wetu amekuwa instructor wetu miaka mingi kama unavyojua amewafunza hao makochi wengi sana kazi eh, hata vijana unaona hapa amekuwa nao kwa hivyo tukaona kwamba hiyo ni kwanza lakini kwangu mimi pia tulikuwa tunahitaji ku inspire hii team yetu from where we were to another level na tulionelea kwamba anaweza kuifanya ndio maana tukamleta leo but the first one is that we want to work hard to qualify for the first one but even without that we talked about his clean slate is the world cup qualifiers in june he starts with mali uganda and rwanda we want him to test himself to take us to the next level that to me is a higher priority than the first one. All right? But he has two Cup of Nations. It's up to him 
His contract is until January, uh, is until March of 2022 first. So it's up to him. But if he plays the World Cup qualifiers, we renew. And that goes to 24. He has a chance to be the only coach in our time. Because we will end this in 24, 25. And if he qualifies, then you can see what I'm talking about. If he goes to 23 Cup of Nations. Kwangu mimi mambo ya kutajwa kama mkufunzi wa taifa ni jambo ambalo of course ni uh, litaleta mambo mengi lakini nafikiria mechi sasa hivi. Tayari akili yangu iko katika mechi ambayo tunacheza na Komoro kwa sababu kitu muhimu nimepewa nafasi ya kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba tumefuzu kwanza kwa Cup of Nations ambayo inafuatilia. Kwa hivyo akili zangu sasa hizi hata ziko kwa hii kazi, ziko kwa mechi ya Komoro. So when we are calling the squad of course we have who is going to be in the first choice, the, uh, the probables versus the possible, possible. So in this scenario, we are looking at all scenario. And uh, with this COVID-19, it's a very tricky situation for sure. Uh, we know that. And we are trying to engage through the Federation to these players to see. And they know how important African Cup of Nations is. The game of Komoro is very important to all of us. So we are trying to make it possible that uh, also the clubs understand that uh, national duty is also very important. And uh, we'll try to get most of the players here for this game. Kumbuka sasa afuwa ni mbili. Kufa ama kupona. J. itakuwa ni harambe stars wa kingana wakipata ushindi chini ya mkufunzi mpya Ghost Mule. Ama kutakuwa na panda shuka si haba ambazo zitapata kusokota na kufanya michuano ya Kenya ikose kunga. Tupata tu kusubiri lakini kumbuka mechi ya kwanza ambayo Ghost Mule anatarajia kuongoza kikosi cha harambe stars. Itakuwa ni thidi ya Comoros. Swali ni J. itakuwa ni ushindi kwa Kenya ama ushindi kwa Comoros. Mwana habari Kigogo Moses Wahisi amepiga shuhuli na kimeeleweka baada ya Ghost Mule kuchukua hatamu ya timu ya taifa soka Harambe Stars kuna msemo mmoja kutoka kule ubajunini wanasema ukiniridhia nami takupokea lakini ukiniudhi fahamu takumbiria yani maana yake wewe ukiniridhia basi nami nitakupokea tufanye kazi lakini ukiniudhi fahamu na mimi nitakutupa yani nitakutupa takumbiria ndio habari yake tunatumai kwamba huyu bwana kibarua alichopewa Jacob Ghost Mulei ni hiki 2021 dimba la Afcon tunataka tufuzu alafu la pili 2022 kombe 